Hey, it's Danae from Rise and Shiny. What's your most neglected kitchen appliance? For me, it was my oven and my dishwasher. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to clean your oven, your dishwasher, your stainless steel, and so much more, all without toxic chemicals. I'm going to be using Norwex, of course, because I don't want to spend all day doing this. Let's break our kitchen into four sections, upside, inside, outside, downside. Let's start with upside. We want to start at the top and work our way down. In case anything falls, we don't have to re-clean it later. First, let's get after the cobwebs that have collected up high. The mop is great for this because of how light it is and how well it statically traps dust rather than poofing it around the room to clean later. I like following this step up with a wet mop pad to give the walls a good wipe down. With just water on the mop pad, we're achieving a 99% bacteria-free clean. You can definitely still tackle this job with an EnviroCloth, but I personally love using the mop because it's so fast and easy. I used the locking feature on the base and was even able to mop the ceiling. While we're up high, this is a great time to tackle your light fixtures. I used my Enviro wand for this job, which even bends if you've got ceiling fans in your kitchen. It attaches to the mop handle as well for extra high dusting. For removable light covers, wipe with your wet EnviroCloth and don't forget to dry them with your window cloth to get that gorgeous sparkle. Let's head up to your high shelves, cupboards, and on top of your fridge. When your surfaces are clear, wipe with your EnviroCloth. If you come across a greasy dust surface, spray it with the diluted up laundry detergent before wiping. Wait, laundry detergent in my kitchen? Yes, absolutely. This stuff is so clean of anything that can harm you that it can be used in your kitchen, and it's amazing. Add one teaspoon to eight ounces of water in a spray bottle. This is going to be referred to as up spray throughout the video. As always, whatever you can finish with a window cloth, it's always worth it. I first tackled the greasy dust on my range hood with my up spray and EnviroCloth. It very easily wiped it all away. There were still some streaks from built up residual cleaners, which you may find when you first use this combination to clean your stainless steel. You can either use your up detergent as a paste with water, but I opted for my degreaser. I used a very small amount directly on my EnviroCloth full strength to get an even deeper clean. I followed it up with the clean side of my EnviroCloth, which lifted and trapped everything beautifully. And of course, followed it up with a dry window cloth to really bring out the sparkle. Now that I've got all that old cleaner and grease stripped away, I just use a wet EnviroCloth and window cloth for an easy weekly wipe down to achieve these sparkly results. I continued on with my backsplash using only an EnviroCloth and water. Oh yes, and also the window cloth, just for fun, because everything is better with a window cloth finish. Now let's move on to the inside. Usually these jobs require some of the most toxic chemicals in our homes to accomplish. Not anymore. First, let's talk oven. Between heavy fumes from oven cleaner or frightening self-cleaning features, oven cleaning was easily procrastinated. Guys, this was so easy and totally fume-free. First, I preheated the oven as low as it would go, ideally around 100 degrees. While I waited for it to warm up, I removed the drawer, did a quick sweep with my dry mop pad, and wiped down the floor with my EnviroCloth and water. Next, I sprayed on my diluted degreaser spray. If it evaporates when you spray it on, the oven is still too warm. After it's applied, you want to let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes for it to be most effective. I was able to wipe up a lot with my wet EnviroCloth just to get started. I had previously tackled some pretty intense jobs with this bio-based non-toxic cleaner and was floored at the results, so I knew it would do wonders for my oven. I added a wet spearnet scrubber for some baked on bits, which came off so easily and not a scratch to be seen. Check out how well the degreaser and spearnet scrubbed this stubborn spot away. I pre-treated it with a dab of full strength degreaser, let it sit, and it all scrubbed away so easily. You'll want to use something more gentle on the oven glass, like a wet speary sponge, which is also safe for cleaning your glass top stove and does an awesome job. As always, follow it up with your EnviroCloth and your window cloth. If you've got some buildup in between the panes of your oven door, you can separate them in order to clean them. Mine came apart by removing two small screws at the top of the door. With some degreaser sprayed on, a scrub with a gentle speary sponge, and a follow-up with an EnviroCloth and a window cloth, it quickly brought it back to true beauty. And if you ain't got time for that, here's a fun trick to try with your wet Enviro wand. For my oven racks, I soaked them in the tub with very hot water and one tablespoon of up detergent. Leave it to soak for four to five hours. Everything scrubbed away with my spearnet with literally zero elbow grease. Incredible results, no toxic fumes, a serious win in my books. Now let's get inside the dishwasher. 
First, remove the filters from the bottom of your dishwasher. I'd also recommend grabbing the filters from your stove hood while you're at it. Boil a large pot of water and add it to a sink with your filters. Add a half scoop of your detergent and some additional hot tap water until your filters are well covered with very hot water. While your filters are soaking, spray diluted up over any stubborn buildup and let it sit for about 5 minutes. Go ahead and wipe down the rest of your stove hood with either up spray or degreaser. Use a small tool like this multi-purpose handle brush to clean in between the gaps as well. Use a wet EnviroCloth to wipe out your dishwasher. Remember, you have eight cleaning sides in every EnviroCloth when folded in quarters. You might need all eight if your dishwasher is as dirty as mine was. Its ability to hold seven times its weight in water sure came in handy during this project too. Once you've got it all wiped out, your hot water sink should be warm to the touch now and safe to get your hands in. Use your EnviroCloth and a small brush to lift away what was loosened during the soak. I was shocked at how well the EnviroCloth lifted out all the grease right out of the filters. Soaking again is definitely an option if it's been a while. I couldn't have been happier with how well these cleaned up. Once you have your filters all cleaned up, return them back to their freshly cleaned homes. After a job like this, your EnviroCloth may be looking ready for a hot water soak of its own. Boil some more water, add in a half scoop of up, as well as a capful or two of degreaser and agitate it as you're able. Depending how soiled it is, you can either hang it to dry to get ready for more deep cleaning tomorrow or launder it using, you guessed it, up detergent. Use just your EnviroCloth and water to clean your fridge shelves. Quick tip, do this on the day before grocery shopping to give yourself more room to work. If anything's really stuck on, use your upspray to loosen it up before wiping it away. Don't forget that these shelves can be polished to a sparkle with your window cloth. Now we're ready to beautify the outsides. Give your stainless steel appliances a wipe down with your wet EnviroCloth and polish with your dry window cloth. Similar to our stove hood, if you've got some extra buildup and they don't polish to a glorious sparkle the first time, spray it down with your up spray or even use your up as a paste with a bit of water. That buildup will very easily remove and you'll be all set for a weekly wipe down with just your wet EnviroCloth and a window cloth. Give your cupboards a wipe down with your EnviroCloth and water. Any greasy buildup can be tackled with some up spray or degreaser. Fingerprints and regular use will easily come off with just water. If your cupboards have any gloss at all, don't forget your window cloth. Now let's do windows. With the extra reach you can get with your adjustable mop handle, hard to reach windows are now in reach. The yellow mop pad works so well on screens when it's used wet. It has the same effect as using a wet dusting mitt. Once you wipe it down, remove your screens to access your outer windows if possible. Switch over to your blue mop pad or a wet EnviroCloth and wipe down your windows. Remember, you don't need any window spray. It's just water. So feel free to take a nice deep breath in and enjoy that ammonia-free air. Switch over to your window cloth mop pad or a window cloth to dry it up for a beautiful sparkly shine. Wipe down the other side of your screen, replace it, and head on inside. Easy to reach windows can simply be done with your wet EnviroCloth and dry it up to a sparkle with a dry window cloth. If you have patio doors, the screens will wipe down the same way with a wet dusting mitt or a wet dusting mop pad. You will be thrilled to look out these windows once all that winter grime is gone. Wet EnviroCloth and dry window cloth again for the win. For the windowsills, use your small brush to pull up what has collected in the tracks. Follow it up with an EnviroCloth to remove all the debris. Be sure to give your cloth a very good rinse as we don't want it to hold on to anything that could scratch another surface. And finally, the downside. With your dry mop pad, go ahead and give your floors a quick sweep. Replace it with your wet mop pad in just water and mop it to a sparkle. Are you ready to tackle your big jobs now? Check out the info below to add one of these to your spring clean dream team. I'd love to see your before and after pictures if you tackle one of these jobs. Be sure to post it in the comments. My name is Danae Yaboa. I am a Norwex independent sales consultant, and I can't wait to help you start truly cleaning your home.